What is up guys? Angry Dave here. We are doing a stream today. We're going to be streaming Angry Sparrows. How's everyone doing today? What's up? Hey, I see Beaver in the chat. I see John T. I see Kyle. Is it Kyle or is it... I always say Kyle. Uh, hopefully I get that right. Uh, he's, he's one of my monkeys too, so I, I need to make sure I say, I say his name correctly. Can't mess that up. Uh, we got Hippie. Hippie, the birthday boy in the house. I love it. How's it going, man? <laughs> hey, Beaver. How you doing, man? All right. Uh, hopefully, you guys were able to jump on and catch DP's stream from this morning. Uh, she did a stream of Angry Volcano and, uh, and uh, Flamingos. They had a task force war, and Volcano went ahead and came out victorious. I was able to catch the end of the stream. Wasn't able to catch on, catch it on earlier because I was doing some hits and monkeys. Uh, made sure that op was all good to go before we started the stream and stuff. And uh, we should finish pretty easily. Uh... <laughs> all right. Uh, yes, Hippie must have a really big house for all his presents. Uh, so today we're going to be doing uh, one of the teams in Angry Family, one of our leaderboard teams. This is Angry Sparrows. Uh, the homie Jaunty is the leader here. And, uh, he, hey, Nick, how's it going, buddy? Uh, he's an all-around stud muffin. He's, uh, play, he currently plays in Angry Monkeys. He leads Angry Sparrows. He's played in Angry Turtles. He's, he's kind of done it all. Um, fantastic player, really good guy, really passionate about his hits, and, uh, really impressed with what he's done with this team. And, hey, Goran, how's it going, buddy? And, uh, you know... What I want to really say about Jaunty is, I'm not sure if you guys know the backstory on this, is Angry Sparrows is was formed from Angry Boomers, which was one of our leaderboard teams in the in the Angry family. Um, and unfortunately, there was a bit of falling out with the leader and, and a few of the co-leaders. And when they left, they they, they uh, went ahead and actually sabotaged the team. They they jumped it to a 50-man team when. Um, as a parting gift and, and, and poor Jaunty was left all by himself um, Oh hippie all right hippie we can teach you DX we, we can teach you duplexity man uh, Come hang out in bananas with us if you can and uh, and we'll train you up on uh, on duplexity and uh, And you can join us in angry monkeys once you're ready man so um, So it's kind of Jaunty was kind of left with a shell of a team and, and and this is what impresses me so much about Jaunty on this. Oh, you're already there? Awesome. Glad to hear, Hippie. And uh, what really impressed me so much is that this team, you know, Jaunty built from the ground up. And it's Angry Sparrows. They're a leaderboard team. You know, they went from basically starting out fresh. They got a whole bunch of guys from Angry Crabs. They got a whole bunch of guys from other teams. A bunch of people came in and helped. The whole family kind of pitched in and got this team up and running it. And Jaunty's turned this into a into a team that's a staple on the leaderboard. And of course, it's not just Jaunty; it's it's his co-leaders as well. Uh, they've you know gotten this done. It's never just one guy. And you know this team really impresses me because many 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 teams would have just folded. You know, you lose your leader and a few key co-leaders. You know, it's easy to just say, ah, forget it. You know, we'll we'll just spread amongst other teams. But this is what makes this team and the family so great is it, it's not just about, you know, losing a few key, key guys. You know, we, we can rebuild, and these guys have. And they're an awesome team. Look, I mean, look at their stats here. 56%. Uh, they're, they're starting Forlorn Hope most of the time. The uh, great thing is they're a leaderboard team. They don't even run Forlorn Hope all the time, uh, which is really impressive. Really impressive. And, uh, yeah, Jaunty's saying, you know, he couldn't have done it without CK and the rest of the family. And and, and it's true. I mean, that everyone's pitched in and done such a great job. Uh, Nick can't teach you anything. Nick's a good player, man. <laughs> Nick's a good player. Uh, he made it on Angry Monkeys on Merit. He's, he's a good player. Hopefully he comes back from break soon. And, uh, and, and so uh, these guys are running in the last 30 days 62% on Forlorn Hope. And they don't even run Forlorn Hope all the time, which is which is pretty impressive on how they've been able to to, to get and stay on the on the leaderboard here. 
Um, I, I kind of scrolled through a little earlier as I was waiting to start up the stream. You know, I recognize a lot of names. I recognize Phytopath here. I recognize Sick. Sick? Uh, Sitch? How do I say that? Uh, he, I know he's a co-leader in uh, in uh, Angry Pitbulls. I recognize Hop. Uh, you know, KFG, I recognize that one too. And uh, D's Nuts, of course. And uh, and a lot of these guys in here. Angry Krusty. Krusty's in Breezy, I believe. He's one of the co's there too. Uh and uh so okay so the 62 percent is massive attack and forlorn hope combined that's still pretty impressive uh they're at 32,000 force points you can check them out here these guys are on the leaderboard and they're right right now at uh 44 uh but of course once they started their op they're always they're higher leaderboard fluctuates as you guys all know sick psych is that how you say it psych okay all right all right thanks for that hippie appreciate that man so uh, doing really well. Uh, you know, we, we've actually, you know, kind of um, something I, I've been actually meaning to bring up to the rest of council and rest of uh, the leadership and the family is, you know, I was always happiest. And, and I think uh, I, I think the team and the family was great when we had even more teams, you know, higher on the leaderboard. So, uh, you know, we're looking at ways to kind of make that happen. But of course, we've got to make sure that um, that, that doesn't mess up our structure and our, and our training teams, you know, aren't going to struggle. Hey Val, how's it going buddy? And, uh, and our training teams aren't going to struggle with, uh, you know, with, you know, being overburdened, pumping up, you know, players into, into different teams. So, uh, so that's something we got away, but, uh, you know, hopefully we can get some, these guys a little bit higher on the leaderboard and, and whatnot. So, um, you know, Dave was talking to, to Nick. Okay. All right. Uh, hey, Hippie, what is your obsession with Bullet? I keep hearing this uh, Hippie Loves Bullet talk, man. What's up with that? Uh, say hi to YouTube. Oh, I should add. I should add a key, key thing here. Keep it clean. <laughs> Yeah, I keep hearing uh, that the hippie loves bullet and uh, and bullet loves some hippie, and uh, and and that's that's what I that's what I'm hearing. So they're okay. They're interviewing a new join. All right. So never mind. I, I won't interfere in that. All right. So let let's get to the fun stuff here. Okay, guys. Uh, so they currently they just started their op. And uh, we're going to go to the op. It was four days. This one, it didn't finish. But Jaunty uh, messaged me. You know, we were talking about getting this op string. I've been talking about getting angry at Sparrow string for a little while now with Jaunty. And, uh, and hey, Chicken Dinner, how's it going, buddy? Uh, chicken Dinner, new leader of Angry Breezy. So big congrats to that guy. Hey, Fritz, how's it going, man? Hey, Fritz is a fellow YouTube streamer. Uh, make sure you guys like uh, and subs go subscribe to his channel. You can click on his little icon next to his name and, and subscribe there. He comes out with a lot of content. Uh, he's actually one of our newest angry monkeys, and it's been refreshing having him in monkeys. He's just got a great personality, great attitude. Uh, he's a good, solid hitter, so uh, so welcome. Welcome, Fritz. Um, hey, Kyle. How's it going, man? And uh, Bullet is nice right now with the speed serum. Yes, it is. If you guys haven't done bullet hits with this speed serum this weekend it's been ridiculous i've had some pretty pretty cool bullet clears and monkeys on uh on uh, especially like on spine it's, it's been a lot of fun um all right so uh jaunty was talking to me about this op uh he said this this really kind of showcased what sparrow is all about they, they have a lot of fun here they get some uh they've got some beast hits they've got some beast hitters they have some breezies and they just have a lot of fun. And so he thought this was a good op that would kind of showcase, you know, what these guys are all about. So, uh, so let's go ahead and let's get down to this. Let's, let's get going. So we're going to start out with Connie. Uh, this is D's Nuts. He's co-leader in Angry Sparrows. Uh, he is, I think he's a 5'5". Five five. It's, always, it's always hard to tell percentages with these uh, Gumboat Energy tribes going on here. But he's Connie, 5'5". Five five. And pretty standard, Connie. I see, what, two, three shocks up top? Okay. Um, great guy. He's from the U.S. 
Uh, this is these are Jaunty's words. He always brings an alt when needed and always forgets to leave it. <laughs> leave with it after he does his hit. Uh, he also leads wolves when Appel is not around. That's yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so D's nuts is uh, one of the key guys. He's he's one of those guys that really uh, helps run wolves. He's he's really involved over there. Now look at the TD. It's a five five. Okay. Good call, Jaunty. If I just look at the TD, I don't have to worry about messing around with the gunboat energy is. So really nice smoke and flares to the right spot, which is in this little nook between these three mortars here. Flares up. Oh, actually, I'm not used to that spot. I usually flare up just slightly higher, but it's been a long time since I've done Connie, so this, this is probably a, a, another way to do it here. Not a big deal. Okay, so he's guys there. All right, doesn't doesn't appear to have lost any delay here. Flares core, he's got three shocks, and let's, let's make it rain here. Perfect timing. Really nice. On oh, that five five is just melting the core. Woo! So this is uh seven. That is a one point six million. Uh, Connie here. Really nice start. I like it. Nice hit, D's. That was good stuff. That was really nice. Vote zero before he even hits. <laughs> Iffy. <laughs> yeah, that shock timing was perfect. Great job, D's nuts. Really nice stuff. That's that's how we start these off. I like it. So solo for D's nuts on Connie. Let's go here. I, th I think that's worthy of an applause. All right, so good stuff. I like it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Next one is GM. This guy's also a 5-5. Five five. And this guy is Hogan. And he's going to hit Java. He's going to take some cells here on the on the left. So we've got, a, we've got the one hard shock over here. These rockets, these shock launchers. Another shock there, another shock there. So a three shocker. Okay, so this is GM. Uh, this is Hogan. Uh, he lives in Iceland. That's pretty cool. And he recently came back from a break. So let's uh, let's see what he's got. Uh, no, we're not voting, Val. We're, we're we're just enjoying the show. So don't worry about votes. All right, get grouping his troops together over here. All right, all right. Good stuff. He should flare up probably between. Oh, he's doing the long flare. I like it. Nice. Nice. And Bullet's going to trip this mine here. Beautiful. And, the, and that other mine. Oh, this is great. Nice. Flares up to the kill zone spot. One more smoke. Nice. Lost a little bit of delay. Let's slow that down. Flares core. Oh, he missed the... Oh, okay. That didn't that didn't hurt him. He missed this rocket here next to his troops. But they're within the... The troops are within the kill zone range. Or the, uh, the, the range of that rocket. So it didn't hurt him at all. He goes ahead, nails the hard shock again on the second time. Does critters to protect himself from the left side rockets. And boom, down goes Java. This is a beefy Java, too. This was... Uh, Ooh, what's that? 2.5 mil? Am I right on those numbers? Wow, that, that was really nice. And this guy came back from break? Wow, this is... Dang, what a way to come back. That That's that's an applause-worthy hit. All right, nice stuff. Hogan with the finish solo on Java. Liking it. You guys got some hitters in here, Jaunty. All right. Um, yeah, if you guys ever look at Ka's band name, it's you can't start. If you hit C, you, you won't find him because he's got the, the, the special characters on, on his C. So, uh, but yeah, he, he he's there. And that's that's his name is it, Ka in there. So, yeah, uh, I love the, the pimp shock on that one. Great. Yeah, 2.5 mil is awesome. Hey, Nal, how's it going, buddy? 
And uh, yeah, that's that's man. These guys starting this off right. Okay, so next we're gonna do Manti. Uh, the homie Krusty is gonna start us off. Six GBE, four troop damage, and a pretty standard Manti. Got this shock blaster here, but that's okay. Now he's gonna take. All right. Key is he's putting the artillery on these two cannons, which keeps uh, the troops under the single smoke. It's exactly the way to do it. Okay, one thing I want to let you guys know on this one. You can take, with one boat, you can take two cells on Manti. You can't, you can't take any more than the two. As soon as you take the two, you got to flare over to the bottom right-hand corner because the machine gun will start to pop off on you. So, but that's okay. He lost a few girls, not that many. So, we're, we're okay still. Alright, flaring below the shock blaster. Very nice. Delayed drop on this hero. Very nice so far. And unfortunately, you can't gap smoke here because the shock blaster's right there. So, he's just gonna, you know, keep smokes nice and tight. Try and keep delay as much as possible here. Which is fine. I don't mind that at all. And he's gonna let... Bullet take the shock mine hit. Or the boom mine, excuse me. One, and then one more. Smoke. Okay, so he has lost delay here. Okay, unfortunately, yeah, that was unfortunate. He lost delay there at the end. I think it's critters. One on the core, one on the cannon. Very nice job on that. Nails his shocks, but unfortunately, he lost delay. If you lose delay on these rockets up top, they don't see your critters. They see your troops, and that's where they start firing first. So the hit was looked really, really good. Just that last smoke was just a touch off. Uh, timing wise but still overall he, he knew all the moves got everything right it's just this game can be so unforgiving sometimes so I don't mind that that's that that's the homie Krusty uh, he's a co-leader he's the author and editor of Krusty's Boom Beach Life Lessons a list of 10 do's and don'ts when you play Boom Beach <laughs> oh that's awesome after yeah Evil Beaver he wanted to talk to Ka but once I told him that uh, you can't really search for Ka really easily, he's like, you just messaged me, man. Uh, so apparently Krusty hates Manti. All right. And then Angry Neil says, I'll give you a million bucks if you don't show mine. Oh, man. Are you, are you next, Neil, or are you just later on? Okay, we'll have to, we'll have to check that out, buddy. Uh, all right, so Krusty, first hit on Manti. Let's do another one here. And, oh man, we don't hit Manti for a while here. Okay, this is rock. The thi Oh, this is the thing. I'm going to pause this here. Oh, this is the thing. Okay, this guy is an angry monkey, by the way. Uh, he's one of our new guys. He, he uses the Subatai account in Angry Monkeys. Uh, new guy, really good player. Ah, so you get... Okay, so Beaver and Ka guys lost a little bit of touch. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you guys are able to reunite here. That's awesome, man. So, yeah. So, this is the thing. Uh, it just says very solid hitter also plays in monkeys. All right. Yeah, <laughs> Chicken Dinner's like, I know he's good at Manti. Talking about Krusty here. He's like, I know he's good at Manti, but uh, I just want to call him out. <laughs> All right, so this is the thing, which is just a great band name, by the way. I love it. All right, he's uh, he's overlapping the smokes a little bit more than I generally like to see, but that's okay. As long as you get there without losing delay, I, you know, and have enough two critters and shocks, then you're fine. Okay, so he doubles this. I don't think you need to double there, but he doubles just because I think he saw the last guy and he's just like, I'm not losing delay. So that's all right. He's going to flare core, get his critters out, and then do his four shocks here. A little late on shocks. Yeah, unfortunately, he was a little late on shocks. But he still did great damage. Look at that. Core's down to half health already. So this is a 1.8 mil core, and it's already on half health. So that that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take that. Next guy can still down this here. 
Hey, DP. Everyone give a big shout out to DP. She's the one you see there as Angry Family. She had a stream this morning. Uh, she's got another one coming up after this. She's got a, uh, That one's coming up in about an hour and a half. So make sure you guys check that out. It's a Task Force War. Uh, she did Volcano. She, she streamed Volcano and uh, Flamingos this morning with Volcano winning. And uh, uh, she's got another one coming up here. I can't remember. DP, who's on the schedule next? Who, who's our who's our next uh, task force war? Okay, so uh, if you guys haven't before, please make sure you guys go in, uh, click DP's name, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, she's been putting out a lot of good content. She's been putting a lot of work into these task force wars. Uh, I did an all hits live, which is kind of similar to task force war, but not even nearly as much work. And I was like struggling trying to figure out everything and she was even helping me with the scoring and with her doing it all by herself it's it's a lot of work so uh, uh definitely give her some love yes make sure you guys subscribe to her channel all right so that was the thing hitting manti we got some chinese letters here six four this account is beach dog which is aka josh he's gonna give manti a shot here okay and what's what's the bio on this so oh so he wrote his own bio okay so he's 43 years old. He's from Iowa. Joined Angry Family, and he's placed in Angry Crabs. Uh, so this is where CK and Nixon, uh, this is who we call Nick. So if you guys ever wonder who I'm calling Nick, and you see Nixon on the screen, that's the same guy. Uh, flaring over, getting the smoke down. He's gonna drop here. Okay, he's looking good. Uh, placed me on the Boom Beat short bus to do my lack of skill and knowledge in all Zuka attacks. <laughs> Oh, I love it when guys have sense of humor about themselves. Oh, shoot. I zoomed in too much. This happens on this computer screen. Okay. And and so he recently promoted uh, two sparrows by Tater, uh, who felt sorry for him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. And if I knew which op was going to be screamed, I would have begged Jaunty to do my own hit. <laughs> Alright, so this must not have turned out well. Oh, unfortunately, he had all the moves. He did everything right. He just, unfortunately, at the end, uh, he just was a little late on his shocks and critters, which which happens, guys. Uh, Manticore is one of those bases. It's just unforgiving. If you're late or you lose delay, it's just you're just done. And, unfortunately, that happens, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I love this guy's bio. The, the fact that he wrote all that about himself is just great. Shows great humor. Um, all right. Nixon is, is actually has a has a pronounced K. It is Norwegian. Norwegian. So Knick, Knickson? Am, am I saying that right? And Null is also Dutch. It also has a hard K. So Knull? Am I saying that right when, I, when, I, when I'm saying that? John T, let me know. I don't want to mess up guys' names. These guys are all studs. I don't want them mad at me. <laughs> okay. All right, so it does have the hard K. All right, good to know. Thank you. Okay, so this guy, this is Hop. And I'm going way too fast through his hit. Okay, so he's doing the hit. He's going to show these guys what's up. Uh, joined the family two years ago. So he's been around a while, which is great. He's at the kill zone. Aw, uh, thanks, Nick. Or, Knick. Dang it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna struggle with that, because in my mind, I've been calling you Nick for, like, a year already. <laughs> oh, beautiful. This is Hop. Finishing Manti. Oh, my goodness. That's, like, six med kits, too. I love it. This guy's awesome. All right. So, th this is Hop. So, uh, he joined, he joined, actually, when we brought Breezy into the family. Uh, so, he moved to, to Angry Outcast, which is a ten, ten man that we had. Because uh, he saw Turtle wasn't running an account in there, so he actually wanted to play with Turtle. That's, that's pretty cool. And uh, and then he started a second, and he, and, he, and he started from the bottom up because he built a new account. And he, so he went from flamingos to parrots to critters and then to dragons, and he stayed there as a co-leader. And then he went on break and then went back um, in Breezy with his with his you know kind of baby account, and then. And then he's went to Wolves and Sparrows. So this guy's been at every level in the family, which is awesome. And, and he's a fantastic hitter. That was a great finish on Manti. He might have got, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't, maybe a solo. 
I couldn't. I don't remember the exact health on that one, but he he nailed that hit. All right, John T. John T. Nick and Hazan teaching me Norwegian. I like it. All right. Okay, so we're talking about kick Nick. <laughs> All right. So DP does a good job on my name as well. Okay, I'll have to check that out. All right. Okay, let's uh, let's do the next base here. That was a great finish by Hop. Let's go Fang. All right, scroll to the bottom here. Got any Fangs going on here? Fang, Fang, Fang. These guys. Uh, oh, these guys waited till the end to hit Fang. Okay, so the Fang was the base that did not finish. They actually didn't finish this up. It fell just a bit short. But so far, it's, it's good stuff. I, I, I like these hits. It's a good mixture of, of some great hits and a good mixture of breezies. But the breezies aren't even like, what's that guy doing? It's just little minuscule details where you can tell the guys are doing pretty much everything else right. It's just we're losing delay or you know something's coming out just a hair late, which you know happens. It happens to everybody. It happens to me. So, uh, all right. Oh, DP's had some Swedish friends. Okay. All right. So that's how she's well-versed in the language. So this is George. So George is is George, which makes sense. He's from Denmark. Uh, he played in Crabs. And uh, basically saying he's, he's a really he's a good player. He's been really improved since he joined from Crabs. So that's this is great. Let's speed this up a bit here. Two speed. In Swedish, we also pronounce the, the case. Okay, yeah, basically the Americans, the English, we, uh, our language is all messed up. Alright, so this is George, and, and if you, oh my god, I just looked at this base. Holy crap! No wonder they didn't finish. Angry Turtles couldn't finish this base. <laughs> Watch, watch what's gonna happen. I said that, and Huda's probably gonna pop on and be like, "Yeah, we could, Dave." <laughs> All right, so he does. He's got bullet, and he's just going straight for the shields, and and he gets one of them. I mean, this is one of those "what are you gonna do" kind of bases. Wow. Um, yeah, this is an ugly base. I mean, that's a good hit. I mean, he did everything right. Unfortunately. With bullet, especially on these high-level ops, you're just not going to do as much damage. I would probably recommend maybe a Scorcher with Brick. Kind of do like you do Cooker in a bit, in a sense. As a potential option, but I don't even know if that would work. Because how long is that Scorcher going to last under all that firepower? I don't know. Oh, jeez. Okay, so now, alright, so I'm messing up George's name. He's not George, he's J-Orge. J-Orge? Is that right? Oh, man. I'll get this. I promise, John. I'll get this. All right, so this is Noob Zone. I love the name. All right, so this guy... This guy is one of... Re a, a recent addition to the team. Uh, so his actual you know band name is, is Noob Zone. So, all right, let's see what this guy's got here. And he's going to do... I mean, so they're just straight rushing these, these shields. I mean, because what else are you going to do? So he's got two boats of heavies to take fire. And he's going to rush these shields. He's got good separation with heavies and... But man, they just melted. He did the hit great. Clean and hard G at the end. Okay. Gosh, I, I, I need to... I feel like I'm, I'm going back to English class here. <laughs> I'm, I'm back in high school learning how to pronounce... Names. All right. Uh, that was Nude Zone. He actually did a fantastic hit. I just don't think heavies would have probably been the right call there just because, I mean, they just melted. Holy moly. I mean, but he's still got a shield and basically most of the other one. And this is uh, Chinese letters Don L, uh, who. That was Ventrexor. This is Vent, who is just farming at this point, I think. Uh, so this is Vent. This is one of the players in Angry Monkeys. And, uh, yeah, this Fang is so nasty. This is the worst Fang I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen Fangs with a lot of rockets, but this is bad. Um, so, yeah, so, so, so this is Vent. Uh, 
uh, Ventrexor, and this is somebody that's been with us playing Duplexity since the start of Duplexity. Uh, he joined an Angry Grizzlies, and and he's one of those guys that, you know, people will say, well, he's in Monkeys and Sparrows. Why isn't he, you know, uh, you know, like on, you know, G-Vibe or Lions or something like that? Is Duplexity is just a different animal. It, it's completely different uh, versus how you play these Forlorn Hope bases. Uh, these Forlorn Hope bases are very technical. You, you try and save as many hits as possible. Duplexity is... You know, we just need guys that don't get Brick taking a shot, you know, from, well, not Brick, but uh, Sparky taking a shot in the head from a Simo. Um, learning how to play around microwaves. And if you can do that, you can play Duplexity. And so he's been a, a very solid player for us in Grizzlies. Been a solid player for us in Monkeys, too, uh, for a long time now. So he's he's been a good addition, and, and I know he does good here in Sparrow. So this has been Trexor, and he's just farming. I mean, what else are you going to do? Thanks, so nasty. Oh man, so nasty. That was a pretty good farming run. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else you're gonna get on that hit. All right, so let's, yeah, let's get away from that ugly fang. All right, so next we got torrent. Wanking, <laughs> Neil. <laughs> uh, I'm not making DX sound easy. I just want to let you guys know it's not such a daunting task i mean it is a it is a painful learning curve but it's not so daunting that you know people can't do it i, I think mean, that's kind of you don't need to be you know turtles caliber to 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 hit duplexity um you know guys that that play on that have played on crabs that have play play on sparrows that play on g vibe that, that play on these other teams you know have, have been able to do it and uh do it well i, I think John T says DX kills me. <laughs> you know what? J DX is hard. It's one of those things like because everything's so new, um, and, and you learn all these things that that kill you. I mean, it, there's just so many different ways to die on that face um, or that off. Excuse me. And 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 it's kind of a, a painful learning curve, but once you get it, it, it really becomes a lot of fun. Uh, so this is A B Kona. Uh, who is, uh, I probably didn't say that right because it says Norwegian here. <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's the new guy to Sparrows. He's been in Sparrows for just a few weeks here. All right, so he's going to he's gonna go straight for the shields, right side torrent here. Just two shocks. Oh, but unfortunately, he didn't shock that. Okay, he didn't shock this... Uh, this rocket launcher on purpose. I think he thought Sparky was going to hack it, and, and for whatever reason, I didn't, I didn't check the markings on this one, is uh, Sparky, unfortunately, just didn't hack it. She went to other stuff. Um, so, unfortunately, that, that rocket teed off on his troops. So, um, you know, unfortunately, that that is unfortunate, but that's that's okay. Stuff happens. Yeah, and that's what Canal was saying, is he, he planned to hack it. And I did see he was planning on hacking it. It's just Sparky didn't target it. I don't know if she was standing too far away or she just liked other stuff or or maybe we we barded mines possibly and and marked sniper towers instead I, I didn't see the exact marking so that 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 could potentially be what happened oh and sparky was pushed back by zooks okay that, that i mean that makes sense so now what he's gonna do is he's gonna try and get this front laser beam here does he have enough you know what that yeah be able to get it and bar it i mean that's a good save on a on a hit because he reduced the shock for the rushers didn't freak out still got a shield didn't panic you know and still took care of business on the laser beam so i, I really like that that you know hits don't always go like the way you wanted or the way you had planned in your mind but uh he took a second gathered himself and did a really good job especially getting down that front uh laser beam so that's good stuff uh, so Clinton, you joined Bananas today. All right. Awesome. Glad to have you, bro. Hopefully we'll see you in Monkeys one day. Hopefully soon. Okay, so so she was in. So Kanal says she was in range, and then got out of range. Um. So okay. So that that happens. 
All right, but like I said, I really like that he kept his composure and still got the second half of the hit and nailed that. That was good stuff. All right, where are we at here? There's Torrent. We got Angry Dragon. Who's Angry Dragon? Recently back from a long break from the game. Works very hard, and, you know, and the break proved him to be really good. So he said ever since he got back from break, he's been really good. Who is Angry Dragon, though? Or is that what he goes by, is just Dragon? So I think he's going to do the full right side clear here. I think he's going to try and get these rockets, doom cannons, everything. That's my guess, though. But you know what? He doesn't have a ton of boats. So maybe he's just staying in the rocket launcher safe zone and hitting it from there instead of having to shock the flamethrowers. That's probably what he's doing here. Yeah, only one shock needed. Oh, yeah. That's a smart play. So he didn't go from the usual kill spot, which was more shocks. He just goes right next to the rockets. This is nice. I think if he really wanted to, he could actually probably right right side clear with those like three boats he had. That, that was that was really smart planning. Really good planning on that hit. Linton is a beast. He'll be a monkey soon. All right, I like to hear that. Awesome, man. Okay, so dragon. Okay, so he, okay, so he just goes by dragon. Okay, or AD. So he's gonna try and bullet, bullet, this left side. He must be hippie's buddy here. <laughs> I, I'm not used to the bullet left side hit. Let's see the range here. Okay, so he smokes appropriately, loses delay on this rocket. Uh, so he's got a shock slightly earlier. Or at least make sure that that's his first shot. Loses delay on bullet, but that's okay. Because he still hasn't lost delay on troops, but... This is interesting. Is he just going to flare the sh... What's the... He's... Wow, I've never seen this before, but he's got good separation with bullet. That's nice. Holy crap, that, I have never seen that before. That is really a nice hit. Wow. And then bombs mines down here. Did you guys see that? Is that is that a new standard hit? It's been a while since I've hit torrent, but that was a sexy bullet hit. I'm gonna I'm gonna boom beach hits that one. That was nice. Alright, so, so you can get all at all shields on a standard torrent like this. Yeah, I've never seen that. I've never seen that. So, okay, so Anas did it on the stream, so that's where you guys found it. That was good stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna boom beach hits that. <laughs> Fred says, "Yay, the bullet hit!" And Clinton's up there. He's being not modest, uh, saying that that he he's he's not monkeys worthy. But I have a feeling you do well, Clinton. You, you'll be up there, man. All right, so let's uh, let's get the tor the torrent finish here. So they got this torrent in three. Wow, this is great. It's a 159 torrent, so it's lower health. So it's what is this 1.4? A little over 1.4 mil, but that's still not a cakewalk. That's all right. Oh, it leaves a hard brush. Okay. Yeah, because you're not hacking something. That makes sense. That makes absolute sense. So Jaunty was saying that if you do the bullet hit, you can get the shields probably a little bit easier. But the rush is harder because normally we get those without a hero and you hack. Uh, like this this shock launcher and, you know, one or two other things. So he's got a triple smoke at the end. Critters in smoke for this doom cannon here. Flare's core. Wow, six shocks. Six shocks. Really nice hit. This is Fred. The Quiet Beast. Uh, okay, so Dragon's the first guy to pull that off in Sparrows. I'm going to Boom Beach hits that, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to check that out. And KFG did it in today's op. Hey, hey, how's it going? Is it Bon Bon Jiggly? Did I get that right? Um, how's it going, man? 
really nice hit. This is this is Fred, the quiet beast. He's played with them since Angry Boomer, so he's been around a while. Uh, really solid hitter, very reliable. Somebody uh, sometimes late <laughs> to makes a leader uneasy, but he always gets you know he always gets the job done and gets his hits in. So, so that's all right. What do I call you for short? Because I don't want to say Bon Bon Jiggly every time. <laughs> I just call you Bon. Uh, all right, so really nice takedown by, by by Fred there. That was awesome stuff, man. All right, so let's go Humble. Humble is our next next here. And that's going to be... Bro. Oh, this is this is nice. Okay, so this guy's... Uh, this guy's a 6'4 with non-perfect statues because I noticed his troop damage is a little low. So he's going to open up Humble. It's a pretty standard Humble looking at it. And he's going to hack these or rockets and you got normally you, you have this other set of rockets down the right so it makes sense that he's gonna he's got to alter the standard plan a little bit oh but he's only able to get two unfortunately the boom cannon targeted the uh sparky before critters now you want to call me fun bon jiggly it, it's got a nice ring to it <laughs> All right, so I got to call him Bon Bon Jiggly every time. All right. <laughs> I can do that. Hopefully I'm saying that right because Jaunty has let me know that, it, that my English sucks. <laughs> All right, so he's improvising here. This is this is Chinese bro who is also Neil. Okay, Neil's in the chat. Okay, so this is the homie Neil, and I like the fact that he's plan didn't go as he as he wanted to. So he's gathered himself. He's got he got he brought in a couple boat, few boats of zookas, and he took out those couple of rockets. That is a really good, you know, on the fly you know recovery here. Let's see what he does on the right side here. It's your Swedish. Oh, so my English is okay. My Swedish sucks. Yeah, it's understandable. <laughs> Yeah, and Neil saying the quad hack didn't work. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. That that boom cannon just just saw Sparky and was just all over Sparky. So he's taken. So he's gonna deploy Grins here, but I think he's out of gunboat energy at this point. Okay, yeah, he didn't have anything to shock that. Okay. Neil was sneaked into the quad hack plan. Uh, you know, it was a good recovery getting those rockets. Normally, that extra quad set of rocket launchers over here is not there. So, it's unfortunate. That's just unfortunate, you know. Uh, it happens. Uh, so, he was a stray team med player. So, he went tanks. I'm going to talk to you guys about Neil here. Uh, who finally saw the light of an all-girl army. And to command all of them with one finger was a dream. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Okay. So... Uh, joined the family 12 months ago. Started, uh, squ he started with squad, then went to Eagles, and Jay Strib showed him uh, the way of the Smoky Mail member. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't even want to know what that's back. And he's never looked back. <laughs> awesome. All right. Good job, Neil. Okay, so let's go next. Humble. This is Chim Say. This is Jaunty. Oh, this is the leader. This is the homie Jaunty. Oh, he's going left side. Okay. So he's going to bomb out the mines for the left side rush here. He's going to rush these shields on the left. Get a mine run. Mine run. What did Jaunty have to say about himself? Okay. All right. I want to watch this hit first, then we'll talk about Jaunty. Flaring over. Now he's got a fast flare of these shields. He's got one, two, is that four shocks? Five? Beautiful timing on the shocks. Woo! And as soon as the flares get there, your next flare should be out. And he nails this hit. The homie John. No wonder why he wanted this off streamed. <laughs> Great hit, Jaunty. Uh, he is the leader. 
boom for four and a half years without a break and he's saying insanity no it's not insanity John T because I've, I'm doing the same thing I've never had a break either uh, he joined the family in July of 2017 uh, with one goal which is to reach turtles which he did last Christmas uh, he played there for a few few weeks uh, before it's clear what kind of commitment it takes to play there uh, and that yeah that's one thing that I struggled with on turtles hi babe <laughs> um, is you know it takes some serious planning like a lot a lot a lot of planning and then replanning and making sure that you're around constantly that way you can do a hit that you're comfortable with if you tack at a certain time and you're not a great clearer like at the beginning of an op then it's a problem but if you wait till the end well and you're a core rusher and all the core rushes are gone and you've got a farm job and so it's it, it takes a lot more time and commitment doing 25 person dx than you'd realize uh so uh so i totally understand that i've actually pulled out from turtles as well uh, mostly because i need to run all my all my accounts in monkeys but uh it's very understandable that that the time commitment especially when jaunty is also in monkeys is leading another team is, is really difficult to fit in turtles as well uh jaunty feels that his purpose is to lead and mentor sparrows and he loves that job uh fun fact chim se is vietnamese for sparrow well, that's pretty cool i like that and now you know how the team got its name very cool good fun fact i like it i like it and i love jaunty jaunty's you know I mentioned at the very beginning of this stream, like, you know, how good of a job he's done. But, uh, you know, he, he's he's one of my favorite guys in the game. He's, he's passionate about his hits. Um, he's a very fantastic player. And, you know, he's just an all-around good guy. He's easy to be around. Okay, so let's see here. All mines were level 22. So, yeah, he had to bomb out everything. Uh, so, yeah, very nice, Jaunty. And Ka can confirm because he's from Vietnam. All right, that's that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, so next uh, hit on Humble. Let's go. This is Phytopath. Hopefully I said that right. <laughs> that, that's how I see it. Uh, he's probably going to do some right side cleanup and then bark the mines to the center. And I forgot to mention that Jaunty did clear some mines uh, for, the, for the Core Rusher. Did do that. So this is Phytopath. And this guy's a co-leader if I'm remember correctly let's see here yes Neil Jaunty is a great leader and, and a beast is he gonna hopefully that mine's not max okay Whew. all right so he's gonna get in the dead zone of these rockets and does he have a girl with a tippy toe back there I think let's see he might want to flare to the far rocket I know all girls are, are in the safe zone. Okay, good. So he's just going to let Zookas kill this. Hey, B-Bag. How's it going, buddy? Uh, so this is Phytopath. So he's 40 years old from the southernmost part of Canada. So I assume right on the border. Uh, he's been playing for over two years. He joined Angry uh, in January of 2018. He killed out those rockets. He's going to farm, do some grand farming here. Uh, he, oh, this is a self-bio. So he says, he worked my way up through the angry family, starting in Flamingos. So Flamingos are our lowest team. They do like bottleneck or, or, or something like that. Uh, and so he's worked his way up. He joins mind sweeping and blaming D's for his breezies. <laughs> That's awesome. I love these guys' self-bios. This is, this is great. And so he's just going to go to town on these shields, and then he's going to probably unload a whole bunch of BART on the mines. Which is a good, that's kind of one of these like thankless hits. You know, nothing flashy, but it's absolutely needed, and he's setting up the next two hits perfectly. He's a breezy grad too, okay. Alright. And Nixon says, uh, Nixon says, he's, uh, Jaunty's done a great job as leader, very committed, and he's also able to put up with him. <laughs> You breezy, bro. Oh, I love that name. That's awesome. And Canal says he's learned so much in Sparrows. Awesome. So this is a really nice hit. Look at all the mines are gone. All of them. Gone. Didn't want to take any more cells. Got the shields. This is a fantastic hit. 
Phytopath. Really good stuff. I like it. Okay, who do we got? We got... Should hopefully have two hits here. Achille. This guy's 5-5. Five, five. Hey, Mrs. Doyle. Hey, welcome, Mrs. Doyle. It's a shush bee bag. <laughs> Alright, so this guy, this is Achille. He's going to harvest some cells on the beach here. Uh, his name is Artur. Uh, played with Red at Risky, Egg Rolls, and now Sparrow. So, awesome. Okay. I like guys that come from outside the family. I think people think, like, you know, that, that have played on these other teams, that have played on Egg Rolls, that have played on these other, you know, groups or Elite Force or something like that, like, that if they want to drop an account or an angry team, and you know, maybe let's have fun. That's, that's the whole purpose of this game. So I like that this guy's played with uh, and played on some other teams here. So he's got a, looks like a five shocker here. He's got a flare fast on each shield. Beautiful shocks. He got that next flare out really fast. That's the one that everyone seems to forget because they're caught up in shocks. This is great. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is Artur. Uh, he lives in Albania. Uh, he's 38 years old, two kids, and he's a delivery man, delivery manager for a private company. So very cool. That was fantastic. Yeah, it was perfect. Artur, really nice. I think that's 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 a plausible worthy here. Okay. All right, so let's go. And we've got Sick here. Six GBE, four troop damage. Go on, go on, go on. And have some, have some B-Bag. <laughs> That's Fritz Army saying that. No, I missed your message. I'm glad you said that. I'd love to share my knowledge. Happy some of it sticks with you guys. So a lot of love going on here in Sparrows. I like it. Boobus from Baboons here. Oh, that's awesome. Played with Sick for a long time before the family. He's a good dude. I, he handles a lot of stuff for Pit Bulls, I noticed. He reminds me of the way of like Fonzie was in Rhinos. Just kind of one of those guys that's just real chill. Uh, takes care of business. Handles a lot of stuff for the team. Uh, that, that's, that's the impression I get from, from Sick here. He seems like a really good dude. Okay, so he does. Now, if you notice, he did the reverse smoke where his flare on the laser, or his smoke on the laser beams was first uh, before the kill zone troop because you want uh, everyone targeting the critters. Three, four, five, six. Six shocks, nails them all, three critters, and is just pounding this core. And gets it with no troops and no hero left. Woo! Sick! Great job, buddy. What's the, what was the health on this one? Six, uh, like 1.6-ish? Right around there? Probably slightly under 1.6. That was a great hit. That, that's really nice finish. Great job on uh, Humble Pie, guys. Awesome. Del Jack Warships is under protection. AKA, I got Fritzy today. All right. Is Tater still in angry? Yeah, Tater leads angry crabs right now. So he's the leader there. So if you want to come check him out, he's he's over there. Uh, so yeah, he's he's there. Yeah, I love the no survivor kills. That was awesome. That, that was fantastic hit. So, all right. So we've got Humble down. We've got Strategize next. We've got Strat and we got Green Court. So let's see where we got Strat. This is in Bunker. In, in, in any relation to... Ivanka? No? Uh, so this is Superb, also known as Alex. And he's gonna go... He's gonna go right side here on Strategize. Uh, he's British, he's 31 years old, wife and two kids. Awesome, bro. Oh, wait. Oh, he's gonna do some Sparky action to start here. Okay, okay. I like the gap smoke with Sparky. You can do that with Sparky and she won't lose delay. It's great. And he's probably going to single hack. Oh, I think he thought he'd be able to double those. 
Oh no, no, I'm sorry, there was a rocket launcher on the beach. So he wanted to get that rocket. Okay, good. So he did that. Oh, Tater's also a co in, in Angry G vibe too. Okay, so that was, so he, everything's gone to plan so far. Uh, he's a co-leader, pretty much just entitled though, doesn't do the work of a co-leader. I think it's sort of a loyalty bonus for sticking around. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, currently on break from Elite Force 2.5, uh, assuming they let him back in when he's ready. <laughs> uh, and don't let him near Mantir, Minnow, or Rushes are not this thing, but give him high strategize outworks. Um, and he's golden. So he, this guy's a clearer. Uh, which is great. Uh, we, we need more clearers. Um, from what I see. Uh, the reason why Turtles does so well is they have so many guys that, clear, that can dance around like the best of them. Okay, and get a re-smoke down. Nice. This is really nice. Superb is the only Boomer's Co. who stayed. Well, that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad he stayed. This is awesome. All right, so he's re-smoked, or he's, he's he's flared up. And now what he's doing is he is just getting his smokes. He's got his troops in a nice straight file line. This is a great hit so far. He's doing fantastic. This is not the first time he's done this hit, I can tell. Got a special bond. <laughs> All right, got the two shocks down. Let troops just go. This is great. Two shocks with the critters, that's all you needed. Got that shield down, this is great work. This is fantastic open. Now he's gonna drop a boat of Grenz and just free up some left side. Uh, he'll make the uh, shields on the left side a little bit easier. And he's gonna unload Bart. This is a great hit. Superb, great hit, bro. Buddy, ah, I got it bow instead of bro. Look at that. <laughs> that was a great hit. I missed some of his bio? Really? No, I I, I literally got everything. Wife, two kids, uh, co-leader, and then talked about the work as a co. Currently on break from Elite Force 2.5. Don't let him near Manti Minnow. Core Rush is not his thing. Give him Pi, Strat, or Outworks. Yeah, I think I got those. Uh, this is one of like four hits he does. Well, shoot, if you do it well, I mean, you're going to have a strat, a humble, an outworks like every op. So if you only got one hit per op, like, might as well. All right, that is awesome. Okay, so let's do our next next hit. This is KFG on strategize. There he is. Okay, so he's going to go left side here. He flares up. Oh, I think he's gonna double. He's gonna double hack this rocket next to the core, and this shock launcher is my guess. Although I'm a little concerned that that flare point is not far enough away. Oh, Johnsy says he wasn't listening. <laughs> Really nice. I think he could have flared up probably just below this sniper tower and just double hacked him uh, if he would have marked that. But you know what? Some sniper towers are marked too, so it's okay. This will really only cost him one more smoke and one more flare. It's not, not a big deal. So, mission accomplished. Gets that rocket down. Really nice work. And now he's going to go up and oh, he's going to grin. Thought he might get the top shield, but this is actually a safer play. I like this. And this is with Gred Tribes going on, and, and so he's going to clear everything on this hit. He might even get the shields here, too. So this is KFG, a.k.a. Kenneth. He's 39 years old. Uh, so this is a self bio. He says, started my... Uh... Yeah, he's going to get the shields here. This is awesome. Uh, started Boom, Boom Beach career two years ago. Or a task force career. Started in uh, Denmark's best 50 man. Where he met Stronghold. 
you guys don't know who Stronghold is, that's uh, that's one of the best players in the game. Uh, one of the all-time greats. Uh, former Angry Turtle. He's actually since retired now. Um, all right, so let's go back to his. And he said uh, Stronghold was a great inspiration. Uh, taught me a lot about Boom Beach. He joined the family a year ago in Crabs, where CK, Tater, and Knixon uh, guided me on to Angry Grizzlies and Sparrows. That's right. I thought I recognized KFG from Grizzlies. Okay, awesome. Uh, been an on, on and off uh, due to work in real life and just got back from a longer break. Uh, so, hey, that's okay. This is a great hit, though. And it was a beefy. This is a beefy strat. The health on this one. Uh, 810. Oh, yeah. It's 1.8 mil strat. Yeah. Shields are probably beefy. Really nice. I, I like that. I like that plan. That That is really good stuff. So this is Clinton. Uh, this guy was in earlier. This is the guy that just joined Angry Bananas. Superb says, my smokes are so bad. S Superb, that was a great hit, bro. Like, it really was. So he's unloading all eight boats. And he's going to get that top shield. He's going to clear here. And he's going to go get that top shield. I'm assuming these shields were really beefy because he's taking all eight boats to go get it. Hey, no sound for me, wife, in the room. I'll watch it with sound later. Okay. I don't know if you guys saw the wifey. I don't know how much you can see behind me. The wifey came in the room a little earlier. She didn't want to be seen, though. <laughs> she, like, came in, grabbed something, and then, like, scurried out. Okay, this is nice. He has lost delay on the machine guns. Slow down. He's got critters in this lower smoke. Just got to get the shocks out. One, two, three shocks. Nice. Really nice hit. Really nice hit. Oh, he's still got a minute left. What's he... Oh, he doesn't have all eight boats. One, two, three, four, five. So he's got seven boats. So he's going to do some hack work. So what he's going to do here is he's going to try and reduce the shock for the rusher. Hack, hack. So pulls off a double hack of these uh, center rocket launchers. So he's reducing a shock for these rushers here. So that was a good hit. Is there any wives who like Boom Beach? Yes, my wife. My wife plays Boom Beach. Uh, she just didn't want to be seen on camera right now. And the, the boat, he's going to farm and probably bart here a little bit. Uh, he's probably going to bart these machine guns. This flamethrower is my guess here. Uh, yeah, my wife plays. Uh, or actually played. She's on a break right now because she's focusing on her art stuff. She does drawings. Uh, so she's she's kind of been really into that right now. And uh, But yeah, she's played. She worked her way up from squad, seashells, eagles... Wolves, crabs. She didn't like the start time of wolves, so she went to crabs eventually. And then went to assassins. And so when she left, she actually was playing on crabs and assassins. So yes, my wife is like the one wife. Uh, yeah, crabs and assassins, but she's on break right now. Uh, so my wife is like the one wife that, that plays Boom Beach, or played Boom Beach up until like a month ago uh, when she took a break. Uh, so yeah, so she actually is okay with me playing Boom Beach. She just knows that it's part of the deal. So, all right. So that was uh, that was Clinton. A really nice hit. And we're going to do the homie Nixon. 5-5. Five, five, and he's the rusher. Oh, it even says here the K is not silent. <laughs> I think they knew I was going to pronounce it wrong. <laughs> uh, Norwegian who works in sales. Probably one of the oldest members in the family. Really? Well, how old are you? Nick, how, how old? Um, uh, he calls himself Grandpa Nick. Recently took a well-deserved break from the game. He's been leader of Bart Jobs and a co-leader in Crabs. Done a lot of good work in the trailing side of the family. Likes music and long walks with his dog. Nice hit. Really nice hit. Double battle orders. This is nice. Nick, this is a great rush, bro. Really nice. What did I say? It was a 1.6, 1.8 uh, mil. 
Yeah, 1.8 mil. Awesome. That was a fantastic hit. Really nice. Okay, Fido. He's, yeah, I was going to say, you're not that old. I do know... I don't know if I should call him out by name, but I do know a leader in the family is 73 years old. No joke. I have confirmed that. Uh, so you're definitely not old. Uh, I'm not that far away from you, Nick. Uh, it's a few years. And uh, so, yeah. So this is... Uh, so so don't, don't feel like you're older and you're a grandpa in the family, bro. But that was a fantastic rush. I don't care who's... I don't care if you're 12. That's a fantastic rush. Great job, man. Okay, so strategizes down. We've got the, the biggest base of them all left. Green court. We got Torby Orby. Am I am I saying that right? Uh, also known as Katsy. This she is an Australian gal. I want to read her bio first. Uh, Austrian. Jeez, Louise. It even says in here Austria, not Australia. Dave uh, came to the angry family uh, and sparrows through through rob robbery rob rob. Rob HRY, however I say that right, uh, who's also in G-Vibe, been training with Rob and Squad, or Z-Squad. I took a chance on her in Sparrows, and she's an amazing player. Uh, knows some of the hits really well, good understanding of the game, and naturally she was moved quickly to G-Vibe. So she's already up in G-Vibe. Awesome. Uh, she recently took a, a, a break to focus on her European task force and, of course, real life. Uh, comes and visits Sparrows from time to time. She's a very smart player. She absolutely loves the Green Court Open. So, oh, robbery. That's how you say it is robbery? Oh, okay. Jeez. I'm like, Rob Heary? I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, so three boats, right side. Going to go ahead and get this right side shield. Flares up. Yep, that's the proper flare spot. She knows what she's doing. All right. Oh, you're laughing at me saying robbery. Eh. Is what it is. Single smoking here. Going to flare the shield. Keeps delay. She's going to drop a critter and I believe two shocks here. Or possibly three. Got an interior rocket here. Yep. Three shocks with the critter. Going to let Zookas go to work. This is textbook hit. She, she really... Does know her stuff on this base. This is awesome. Textbook. Let's see what she does next. Next play should be this beat shield and rocket with Zookas. Let's see how she does it. Some people do like to get it with Sparky though. Okay, so she is taking Sparky. And she's gonna hack that rocket. I wonder if she's gonna go up and get this other rocket or not. Or she's gonna hack it and let Sparky die. Let's see. Okay, so she's gonna let Sparky die. You can get that rocket with just troops on this on this hit with just I believe three boats azukas depending on health um, you can get both the shield and the uh, and the rocket under one set of shocks boom didn't get my bio Clinton I thought I got your bio oh my god I missed Clinton's bio I'm gonna go back and read Clinton's bio after this hit Totally missed it. I, I got you. I got you, bro. I'm going to come back. Beautiful. She stops. Oh, hopefully splash damage doesn't get them all. Oh, it did. Okay, so here's what she did. So she tried to get two boats of Zookas to get these mortars. Unfortunately, because there was two boats of Zookas, the spread had a rocket launcher. You can come in, sweetheart. Um, the spread caused a rocket them to get in a rocket launcher range, and Splash took them out. Um, if she'd gone there with one boat of Zookas, I think she would have stayed in the safe zone of the mortars. But shield was very high, so um, that's that's why she went the Sparky route uh, earlier, according to to Kanal and, and John T here. So, okay. Clinton, I got you, bro. All right. So this is the homie Clinton who did his hit a little while ago. Um, this is the guy that just joined Monkeys, by the way. Or not Monkeys, Bananas. Uh, he was about to quit the game a year and a half ago when the skank skills was perfected. But after watching some turtle vids, shout out to Crazy Turtle. 
Uh, he decided to join the Angry Family instead, started in Parrots, and quickly to became addicted. Been moving up and around the Angry structure since, and also played in a couple of Task Force outside of Angry at the moment, Swedish Royals and the Great Baboons. Awesome! All right, I got you, Clinton. That's awesome, man. I'm glad to see you moving up, and you're all the way up in Sparrows now. That's awesome. Okay, she wanted to tag Grens, but you pushed for all Zookas. Okay. All right, Canal needs a drink. <laughs> See you later, bro. All right. All right, so this next one is Tushar, which is Canal. Oh, is he? He's the next hitter. Okay. All right, let's let's see this one. Oh, let's. I want to make sure I got his bio. He's Dutch. He's 37 years old. Been playing Boom Beach for three years in one of the best Dutch-speaking 50-man task force, doing dead end. <laughs> Started uh, started playing Forlorn Hope uh, Duplexity eight months ago and joined the Angry Family four months ago. Uh, now he needs another three years to get rid of all the wrong stuff he learned. <laughs> but I bet he can solo that warship or full scorcher. Has watched too many streams from Turtle and therefore he most likely will prepare hits and not a, and and that only others can execute. <laughs> That's funny. All right. See what he's gonna do here. So he's gonna hack these rockets on the left side. And I like that he doesn't use the smoke around those mortars. And does gap smoke in there. This is fantastic. This is a textbook. Uh, pathing on Sparky. He got all the way up there under two smokes. Triple hacks those three rockets. Awesome. Awesome. And he made it look easy. That's that's the best part of that. And then Sparky dies. That is awesome. That's exactly the way to do it. So now he's going to do the single boats. Let's them kill that cell. So you flare on the cell that's two above the uh, mortars. Let them kill and that that'll stop them in the right spot. So you don't have to worry about your flare time in that one. This is smart. Let's speed this up. So he's going to hammer away at these mortars. And then he's going to go to work. And I believe he's going to get this left shield here. Or he may go ballsy and get the top shield. Ooh. Oh, no! Ah. Oh. <laughs> Krusty says, Dave, you missed a live hit from me, but I wasn't about to let you know I was going to hit either. <laughs> All right, so this is Kanal. This this guy, I mean, he did pretty much everything right. Um, unfortunately, on the pathing right around here near this cannon, because he went sparky first, he had lost delay on everything because they were killing off these rockets. So he had the tiniest gap. And I bet you had he not even... Had he, had he done that hit from the start, he wouldn't have lost... I mean, which he couldn't, but uh, he wouldn't have lost a uh, delay there. Uh, or it wasn't a bit enough of a... Uh, to trigger the, the laser beam. That's my estimation. Um, and so, unfortunately, laser beam got most of his troops. And then when he was up top, you can't uh, just sit up there and, and let you know your Zuka shoot. They, unfortunately, have to... Uh, they need the delay in order for timing. So I, I thought he did overall the hit great. It's just unfortunately, you know, things kind of happen. So Krusty says, uh, so Krusty, was it a good hit? Is it stream worthy? All right, so this is uh next hit is going to be from Kamikaze. Uh, this is D's nuts. So from, he did, he opened it and he had a fantastic hit on Connie. And what is he doing? Is he just going to go like straight up through the beach? Interesting. I think I like a flare deployed there better instead of two smoke in the beach. You can only you can single smoke it. But that's okay. 
Yeah, I think he's going to go all the way to the top shield on this one. All right, we're going to show that, Krusty. Titanic solo. This is nice. He has not lost delay. Only needs a shock on the lower laser beams. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Deez, this is awesome, bro. Oh, you missed the note. I wanted three machine guns hacked as well. Whoops. Well, the next hitter still downs it, so... So that's okay. We need those machine guns. So he's taking one boat. Took seven boats up top. Taking one boat to kill this left shield. This is a beautiful hit. And then he's going to try and hack, but time may be an issue here. And gunboat energy. I think he just... I think he had enough just for those two smokes, and then he was done. Uh, so yeah. That was a fantastic hit, though. That was absolutely beautiful. Got the left and top shields. This is this is great stuff. All right. So the man himself, Green Court finish. Is this a four six, Jaunty? Four six account. Pretty standard Green Court, I would say. These machine guns, though, are a bit of a pain. So he's gonna have to shock there. All right. 4-6 account. This is how, how how beefy is this one? Oh my goodness, this is beefy. 2.5 mil? A am I right on that? Is my math right? Okay, so he's gonna flare over to kill zone. He took most of the cells. He needed every Zuka on this hit. Well yeah, it was I, I by my calc it was 2.5 mil. Are close to. I mean, you take cells, you do lower the health, so maybe it was actually like 2.3 or something. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is uh, one of these difficult rushes. I believe he's gonna need six or seven shocks here. Okay, right, start getting them out. One, two. Holy moly, that was too many for me to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I? Yeah, seven shocks? Wow. Eight shocks, maybe. John T! Holy moly! And what's that? A triple med kit? I like it. Oh, man. D's and John T closing this out like champs. Wow. That was a great hit, man. And the crowd went wild for him. That was an awesome hit. Really nice. Really, really nice. Woo! All right. Jaunty equals beast. Hold on. Wow, so we got a bonus hit here. The homie Krusty just hit Titanic. Just soloed Titanic, by the way. Let's watch with the hot beach. This is not easy to do with the hot beach here, guys. So he's going to lose a few girls on the walk. That's okay. This is the homie Krusty. He's got what? Five, maybe six shocks here? Five and critters. And the speed serum. This is nice. This is really nice. Rusty! The solo on Titanic. That just happened, guys. Wow, and Jaunty. Not to take anything away from Jaunty. That was uh that was a fantastic rush, bro. That really was. That was really nice. Okay, guys. Uh we are we are out of hits. Um unless somebody's going live right now. No. Nope. Crusty went already. Okay. Uh, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. 
in about a half hour, 36-ish minutes. We have DP streaming again, Task Force War. I didn't catch who the, the, the teams are going to be, uh, but make sure you guys tune into that. Please do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Uh, really good stuff from Angry Sparrows. Thank you guys so much. Uh, this was a really good stream. Uh, there's Krusty. How's it going, buddy? Uh, so, great job. Oh, and I lost a medal. Darn it. <laughs> All right. So, thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll see you guys again soon. We'll be doing uh, uh, some more Boom Beach Hits videos. Uh, if you guys have some stuff that is a standard hit that kind of went perfect on a base, like a Manti hit or something, I have a lot more requests for Forlorn Hope massive attack bases than I do the duplexity stuff that I've been showing as well. So, uh, make sure that you guys let me know and I'll get those uh, recorded and, and sent out. So, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And thank you, Val. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Neil. Uh, thank you, Jaunty. Thank you, Sparrows. Thank you guys very much. And I hope you guys have a good one. Dave is out.